So what I'm going to show you here is how to create a new permission level in SharePoint Online. So what I've done is I've navigated to the location team site. It's actually a subsite in my site collection here. And you'll notice that I have a document library called Documents. Now I'm logged in here on this browser as uh, the administrator. Now if we go in here and basically go into our uh, site settings, you'll see that we have an option in the top left hand corner here about our site permissions. You'll see that we have the standard members, owners and visitors. If we go in and have a look at the members, you'll see that we have one member who is uh, Lewis Collins. Now, if we go over to our second browser here where Lewis is logged in, so again, second browser here, you'll see that uh, the look is slightly different because the permissions are different. He goes into that same document library, he'll see the same documents, and then, for example, if he goes in here and then deletes a document, because he is a member who currently has uh, the edit right, so the edit right provides read, write, but also delete, which means you can delete a document from this document library. So what we can do, obviously, is if we need to, we can recover that document from our recycle bin. Okay, but what we really want to do here is we really want to prevent uh, ordinary users, ordinary members of our team site being able to, uh, let's say, delete documents just in this document library. So what we need to do is we need to go up here and we need to uh, go into the permission levels for this area and we're going to create a new permission level uh, based on the edit but remove the ability to delete. Now because we're down in our structure here in our subside area you'll see that I don't have the option to create uh, and won't have the option to edit um, the permissions that are available in this team site. So what I'll need to do is navigate to the top of my structure. So in this case, this is the top of the site collection. I'll go into the site settings and then go in once again to the site permissions. Now, when I go into site permissions, you'll see here that again, I have the permissions level option, which I'll select. But now because I'm at the top of the tree, you'll see that I get the additional options here to add a permission level and delete a uh, selected permission level. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new one. Now the easiest way to do that is not necessarily to click this option to add a permission level. The easiest way in this case is to take an existing permission, in this case edit, and modify it. So what I'm going to do is select the uh, existing edit permission and that will bring me up with all the specifics around that permission, what it can and can't do. So you'll see that again these are the options that are checked but if I scroll right down the bottom you'll see that I have an option here called copy permission level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and generate a new permission level which I'm going to call uh, here edit but no delete. Okay, so this is going to prevent me from deletion. Now, I'll scroll down and look at my permissions here and you'll see that I still want everything except the ability to delete items and I also want to remove the ability to delete versions, right? So now that I've done that, again, we can go through here and check any other permissions. No, we're good with that. So we will create a new permission level. So once this is complete, we'll see that listed in our options. Here it is down the bottom here. If we need to go in and edit it, we certainly can do that by simply clicking on that permission again. Now, if I go back into that uh, specific team site, let's go back into that document library. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the permissions here. So to do that, I go into the library settings. And then what I'm going to do here, you'll see that the permissions for this document library is what I'll select. Now at the moment, the library is inheriting permissions from the team site. So what we want to do is firstly stop inheriting those permissions so we can create unique permissions. Okay, so we're sure that we want to do that. And once that has been complete, you'll see that our members are currently set to edit. So what we want to do is select that and change the permissions for this group. So we'll unselect edit and we'll select now the permission level that we just created called edit but no delete. So we go OK. And when that has applied, you'll see that our team members now have the ability to edit but no delete. So if we jump across to uh, Lewis Collins here and let's just refresh that page so it updates with the latest permissions. All right, so if we go into here and once again select the same document and then go in here and try and delete that, 
Okay, so again, right mouse click, I will go in here and you'll see that I don't even have the option to delete that file. So if it's delete on the keyboard, again, that does nothing. If I go in here, you'll see that I don't get a single option here to delete a file. So really that was how simple it is to go in and create a new permission level in SharePoint Online. So basically what I did is I went in at the top level, I created a new permission level by copying an existing uh, permission level that was there, just modifying what I needed, created a new one as you see here called edit but no delete. And then I went in and modified the existing permissions to uh, refer to that one and then that is exactly applied to the users. So again, now if they go in here, you'll see that there is not an option to delete the file. So again, what we'll do here is we'll select this user, sorry, select this group, we'll edit those permissions once again, and we'll put it back to edit and remove the no delete option, save that. So that will then update us again, go back to our document library as our user and refresh that. So now, again, if we right mouse click on this, you'll see that we get the option to delete the file. So it's really that simple to create the custom permissions that you want with SharePoint Online and apply them across your whole site collection. Thank you very much for watching the video.